Hello, in this video I'm going to be going over the prefix rule, which involves two elements that are non-metals and they are chemically combined. Alright, so in the prefix rule we are going to be using prefixes to determine how many atoms we have. And we need to know that we have mono represents one, di is two, Tri is 3, tetra is 4, penta, for like pentagon, is 5, hexa is 6, and so on. So it goes hepta, then there's octa for 8. Um, but the first 6, those are going to be the common ones for this class. When doing the prefix rule, you need to remember that the first element gets the prefix when there's more than one. Gets prefix when more than one. And second element gets prefix always. So do an example. We have CO2. First element gets prefix when there's more than one. Here there's just one. So we're just going to write carbon. Second element always gets prefix. So it's oxygen, IDE ending still, basic rule. So it's carbon oxide. There's two of them. So we're going to write dioxide. Doing another example, we have PCl3, so phosphorus, there's just one of them. First element gets prefix when there's more than one, so no prefix. This is phosphorus, and then chloride. There's three of them, so we go with tri, phosphorus, tri, chloride. Doing another example, what do we have H2O? So this is water, but if we're using this nomenclature, we have two H's. So really, first element gets prefix when there's more than one. There is more than one, so we're going to write dihydrogen. And the second element always gets a prefix, so this is monoxide. Dihydrogen monoxide. And doing one more example, we have H2 NO2, nitrogen, first element, if there's more than one gets a prefix, there's just one, so no prefix. Second element, there's always gets a prefix. Dioxide. And those are just a few examples of the prefix rule used for covalent compounds. <laughs>